Hello folks, well I've got another Hoover Sensory to look at. I don't know why I bought this, I wasn't even looking to buy another Hoover Sensory. I was on eBay searching under Bissell for something and um, for some reason this came up under the listing for Bissell and I saw it. I think uh, there was only two people bidding, well there was no, pe no one bidding on it uh, at the time but I think I won against one other bidder right at the end of the auction. Now this is a Chinese made Hoover but it's one of those earlier Chinese made you know when when they were very good quality Chinese made. Well <laughs> hi Josh I'm joking but they were better than I think the Chinese made Hoovers you can get now. When Hoover first moved their production to China, obviously it was a travesty and a tragedy, but the earlier ones weren't too bad. Some of them. And this sensory, I think, was one of the earlier cleaners to be produced in China. And I think, sort of fiddling with these bloody scissors because uh, I'll just cut myself. I think it's God's way of telling me to stop unboxing stuff because both my um, box cutters, I've had a look round, I can't find them. <laughs> they always go missing, don't they? And I've just cut myself. Mm. Oh dear. I can't remember what I was saying now because I'm in considerable pain and I'm going to be bleeding all over the box. I might have to put a plaster on. I'm not they don't open boxes like this, folks. Look at this. Yeah, I'm going to have to keep licking my finger. <laughs> anyway, I can't remember what I was saying. Um, oh, that was it, yeah. So this was one of the uh, earlier cleaners to be produced in China. But it was also, as far as I know, one of the last Hoover cleaners to be manufactured in the UK last new range i don't know yeah i think it was camber slang i don't think it was in uh, merthyr tidfil this should be new and unused we have a guarantee we have just trying not to bleed on the uh, quick start guide getting started there you go Oops. I'm going to have to, I'm just going to have to pause and just pop it's only a small cut I'm feeling a bit faint but I'm going to have to cover it up because it's just going to go everywhere right then now the only reason I bought this if it had been a bog standard sensory I would have passed it by but this isn't bog standard this has got something extra special something that grows bigger as you handle it ooh uh, misses um I'll be showing you that in action. Something that uh, starts off quite long but gets even longer. Um, where was I? I think I've lost a lot of blood, folks. Well, here is what I'm talking about. This sensory comes with the expandable zoom tube that expands. Now, Hoover did a machine, an, another earlier Chinese made cleaner, which I used to have. And foolishly sold called the octopus it didn't have eight hoses is it eight or six legs octopus have oh I can't remember but anyway I don't know why they call it octopus but octopus had the zoom tube so this is basically a sensory with a zoom tube and here is the more detailed instruction book basically well a lot of drawings really so first thing out of this box and this is all that was pictured just this so oh no, I think there was a picture of the side of the box where I discovered this was the uh, zoom tube version it's not this color so here we have a reasonably good metal telescopic wand yes definitely unused let's pull it out oh yes I've been watching too many carry-on films of late, I'm afraid. There we go, a bit of a change of scenery for you. Um, well, here is the zoom tube. 
It's a bizarre thing. It's a hose within a hose. So you've got quite a thick hose. And then spilling out of the end is a stretch hose. And that should really, well, when I get it back in, that shouldn't be exposed until you want it to be exposed. That normally lives inside the bigger hose. I'll have a look at that and get it sorted. No suction control on the handle, bit of a grip underneath. And here's the, the lever that activates the zoom tube function. Now I think that's the lever that sucks the hose back in when you're putting it back into the regular hose. To release it, you just twist it and release it for cleaning your stairs. But when you don't want the extra length, you um, compact it down because it's a little bit, bit too much when you're just using it for a regular cleaner. Now one of these, look at them, look at this. You've seen this nozzle before. Several versions of this hateful thing. This is the basic. I'm surprised because I thought this was more of a deluxe type cleaner. This is the basic two-in-one. So, with the help of the hose handle, I can show you it in crevice tool mode. And if I want to do upholstery or curtains, I use it this way. Litter pickers, which looks like that's, <laughs> yeah, look. <laughs> That's already, oh, I, I should, no, I won't. I was just gonna put that over my eye and, and have a red eyebrow, or a little mustache, actually, that would be a little red mustache. So that's come off, and that one's going to come off, so. <laughs> yeah, they didn't care, did they? Right, I'll sort that out off camera, but anyway. The more deluxe versions of this, the three-in-ones, would have had a little uh, slide control at the front and some dusting brushes that uh, come out. But this, this is just the two-in-one, not the three-in-one. So that needs sticking, sticking down. Oh, well, we do have a mini. And that's quite a nice, it's quite a hefty thing. That's the mini turbo nozzle, translucent. You can just about see the yellow fan. That's huge. Now that does move from side to side and there should be a way and there will be a way of opening up I'm not going to do it now there is a button either side to open it up if you need to de dog hair it or get any fluff out so that's the included small turbo nozzle I'm not sure what the main nozzle looks like on this ah oh, it's one of those it's a shame we don't get a full sized nozzle now, where are those scissors that uh, injured me? I'll try not to cut myself this time. There we are. Not very good nozzle, these. Very basic. Obviously, plastic base plate. Litter pickers. A pedal that lowers the brush at the front and I don't know if it lowers that squeegee. I'm not sure if that squeegee's permanently lowered. Let's check. Oh no, it does lower the squeegee. Uh, side suction. This I think is a high wattage cleaner. So obviously this is pre the uh, EU regulations. Okay, I think it's time to get out the machine itself. Nicely wrapped up anyway. Ah, it's not translucent. I was thinking. Well, it's quite, quite smart colour, but for me, uh, I was looking at the picture on the side of the box. No, this is titanium metallic. I think actually the translucent, translucent version was the dust manager, the sensory dust manager. This is a bag sensory, which is better than a bagless. And I do have a UK version of this, the Sensory Floor Master in a lighter silver, which was a UK made machine. Uh, well, despite the fact that I'm sure it's never been out of the box, we've already got 
a little bit. Can we see there? Look, folks. I'm not sure if you can quite see the damage with the light on it, but there is a little damage on there, and that's not going to be wiped off because I'm pretty sure this lovely metallic finish is just sprayed on. I've just noticed the wattage of this 2300 watts. What a contrast to the cleaner I've recently unboxed. At the time of making this video, I've recently unboxed the Hoover Enigma Upright that was rated at 350 watts. And yet when I opened it up, it said 250 watts on the motor. <laughs> anyway, I'm in, I'm in uh, correspondence with Hoover over that. I'm not sure what's going to happen with that. They asked to see a photograph of the motor with the sticker. So inside here, despite the fact it's, it's, it's quite a big cleaner, really. Look at the size of the dust compartment compared to the motor and the filter. Obviously the automatic cordial wind is housed in here as well. So we've got a HEPA, HEPA filter. And that uh, seal has come away a bit, but I don't think that's glued in. It's just come away, that's it. So the motor's tucked inside there. Yeah, quite good. No energy label, I don't think, on this generation. They didn't introduce them. Obviously not, because it's uh, 2,300 watts. Tiny, tiny bag, tiny. I'll try to remove it without closing the flap. You're supposed to pull it out here at the top and it seals it. But I don't want to do that at the moment. I can just, there we go. This is a pure HEPA bag. But yeah, not very big at all. And here's the pre-motor. Oh, that's a bit different. That's quite thick. Thick and black. Let's give it a sniff. Hmm, it's possible it's a carbon filter, that. To help reduce odours. But that, uh, that's a tight fit into that uh, grill. I think that's better fitted than it was. And obviously, the hefty motor is behind. How does it go on? Not sure if it just pushes on or twists. Well, I think it just, well, it seems to be on anyway. Pop the bag back in. There is a little bit of dust actually inside, but I'm sure that's just, it's, it's absolutely clean. Inside the bag door, Yeah, there's just dust on it, but it's been stored away somewhere for a long time. And uh, here's the lid of the machine, and I've got another, more, uh, more of a diffuser than a filter in the lid. Yeah, it's all that sort, of, it's, it's, it's wet, it's storage dust. I don't know how dust, it was really sealed up well. It's definitely not been used, I'm pretty sure of that. So, there we go. Is that going to close? Let's make sure the bag's in properly. Is that going to shut? Yes. Nice, great big Hoover branding here on the side. A big wheel. It's the same the other side, so I won't show you that. We've got a parking slot on the back. And here we've got the on off switch combined with a very rough feeling rotary control. Oh, that feels very cheap. And here we've got your automatic cord rewind. Here is your bag check indicator. A nice Hoover roundel here. And the main features printed on the cleaner, expandable zoom tube, pets and stairs, pet hair remover, washable HEPA filter, silent power. And if we turn the cleaner over, we can see on the back, swivel caster, we've got the storage bracket, 
that holds the main carpet floor nozzle. Obviously you'd have the tube and hose attached if you were storing it in a tall cupboard. We'll have a quick look. I don't know if we can date this. It's certainly in the 2000s, definitely, I would say. Not sure if we can date these uh, serial numbers on the newer Chinese made, but we'll have a quick look at the rating sticker. Okay, so this is Hoover model TS2308001. Serial number is 39000382. 0625-0847-230-240 volts, 50 hertz, PCEE, 1700 to 1900 watts, PMAX, 2300 watts, type VS06. Let's pull out the cord, which I think will be a thin cord. Yeah, not as thin as some, but that's quite a thin cord for a 2000... 300 watt vacuum. I mean, this is the sort of wattage a kettle uses, or an iron, or a fan heater. Anyway, that feels quite smooth. Is that it? Is there any more? Oh, oh dear. Hang on, got pressing the wrong thing. Oh no, that is it. Hmm. I was wondering if there's any more because normally you'd see a little bit of red tape to say don't pull it out but no that's not on there nice uh, round plug on these obviously it's fitted with a 13 amp fuse okay um not sure what setting is minimum i'll plug it in now it might switch on so it's fairly quiet at the moment. It's, it has switched on on its lowest setting. Let's uh, turn it up. I noticed my studio lights flickering as I turned up the power and I half expected flames to start shooting out of the exhaust. I think it's in max now. This does have a soft start motor because you don't want the motor suddenly going full whack at 2300 watts when you first switch it on if you don't turn it on and the, the machine's you know in the maximum setting, which quite frankly most people would have just left it in maximum and used it all the time. And I expect a lot of people would have just left the cleaner in whatever setting it was on when it left the factory, even if it was left in the lowest setting, because people don't look at instruction books. They might not have even realized that you can control the suction. Anyway, I'm gonna turn this on. I think it's going to ramp up from its lowest setting up to the ridiculous 2300. I'll do, of course, a suction gauge test on this at the end of the hose. It is a bit like a jet aeroplane taking off, isn't it? But anyway, yeah. Let's uh, pop on the old zoom tube. I do actually have another one of these. I got um, from Amazon very cheaply. Oh, that's very, very stiff. Heck. Now, this is supposed to swivel in the cleaner, you know. I haven't even got it in position properly. That is ridiculous. <coughs> oh, right, I think that's in. Oh, but there's no way that is gonna swivel because it is so tight. That is gonna just stay there. Now, and I'm pretty sure the zoom tube does not swivel, so it's gonna tangle up a bit. Let me just get the zoom tube in the position it should be when you're using it normally. So just stand up, push it back in. 
there we go right okay yeah this is going to be awkward because there's absolutely there's no swivel either side of this it's quite interesting the uh the valve oops you can see it you can see how it works so when you're using the machine normally that's the valve in the open position which obviously allows the suction through the handle and into the hose but when you want to block off the suction you use the big lever and it closes the suction and that's how in theory whether it works in practice but that's how in theory the zoom tube retracts itself into this see-through outer hose so um, let's pop on the uh, the wand now I've got some new I only bought them from Amazon because they were dirt cheap um, they don't fit a lot of cleaners though but I think I do have a big turbo nozzle and it looks like it's this style and they fit like this most nozzles most carpet and floor nozzles they fit outside the end of the tube but this type as you can see goes on the inside and if the, that turbo nozzle I bought works with this then it will be pretty good mm. not tragic at least it's not like that other sensory the most recent sensory I bought that just stuck to the floor that's one of those low wattage ones EU ones it skips a bit this nozzle though but well it was on maximum I suppose if I was to turn it down a couple of notches wrong button I'm always doing that wrong button Roger it's that one I have to wait for it to ramp up of course There go my lights flickering. I don't know if you can see that. Oh dear. That's better. Yeah, the lights are flickering. <laughs> Deary me. So anyway, this is it, you see. It's quite a, quite a good fully featured cleaner, isn't it? We'll see how we'll see how the zoom tube works. Let's have a look at the old uh, turbo nozzle shall we and then I'm going to nip upstairs and see if that full-sized turbo nozzle I bought will fit this machine it might well do this is probably going to be quite noisy This is the turbo nozzle I bought from Amazon for just over five pounds and it's a J57. According to the box it's for the Free Space Evo and the Mistral. But it might fit this. Because it does have the same sort of recessed, you know, slightly narrower Part. let's try it folks let's get me uh, extension wand oh is it gonna come off easily enough oh good oh I'm just uh, oh dear I'm, I've, <laughs> I've got blood everywhere well those blasters don't buy as the blasters folks right I've got blood all over me tube but I'm pleased to say oh lovely it does fit perfect fit Right, before I, well, I try this uh, grand turbo nozzle out, I'm going to have to wipe all the blood off this tube and fit another plaster. Okay, I can see I've bled on my jeans as well. <laughs> now, um, I was going to show you this because this is another bargain nozzle 
I bought one of these low energy thingy majigs and it's, it trips off the tongue the model of this it's a G240AFS but I've just realized it's not going to fit because this nozzle here has one of the uh, this type of fitting not many Hoover cleaners have that of course they're not made by Hoover a lot of these I think the cleaners that use this design are made by some other company for Hoover at least the sensory was a Hoover design like the Enigma slash Pure Power a lot of the Hoover cleaners you can buy now are just rebadged because I've seen them like on Amazon dot DE German Amazon I've seen Hoover cleaners branded other things anyway this grand turbo nozzle does fit and it uh, goes quite well with this machine it's got uh, suction slide at the top so you can open it when you're doing thicker pile carpet again it just allows air into uh, the turbine to keep the, the brushes rotating so it doesn't get bogged down which it might might happen on this carpet and uh, yeah medium soft brushes on this one got a big litter picker you'd think it wouldn't need that if the brushes were effective and you got a squeegee I won't do it now because I think it's no oh no I was gonna say it's notoriously hard but that was so much easier than I was expecting it to be just about might be able to make out the the black turbine that shouldn't have come off quite so easily oh there we go right let's switch on <laughs> so, it, it, look in my defense folks I've lost a lot of blood <laughs> I was thinking now they're not going round do you know why because <laughs> I, I, hadn't, I hadn't put this on dearie me <sighs> right right this should work now <laughs> let's fingers crossed <laughs> Well, this turbo nozzle isn't bad with the air vent fully open and the cleaner on maximum suction managed to uh, slightly groom my living room carpet with much better on a short pile carpet anyway i thought i'd show you that it possibly will fit earlier teleos cleaners as well this particular nozzle so you can often pick up a bargain on amazon if you care to uh, spend quite a, time, quite a long time browsing Amazon you, you look through an awful lot of stuff you don't want obviously but you can pick up some uh, pretty cheap bargains so yeah that works pretty well let's have a look at the zoom tube shall we finally the main reason why I decided to go for this sensory and obviously that zoom tube should swivel it doesn't so it's not going to be very good I mean, the cleaner itself is fairly manoeuvrable with its big wheels. Okay, so I've got the camera as far away as I can to show you the zoom tube in its compacted position, which was more than, you know, long enough for regular carpet cleaning. But this is where you'd need the extra reach, I suppose, for the stairs. You just twist the collar and then out comes now it's not going to show i will have to take this up the stairs wow that wow that is crikey no that is 
massively long, folks. That is, I'm going to show you, I'll have to show you because I'll get complaints. I would say that would definitely reach up the stairs. How effective it will be, because obviously if you, if you block off the end at all, it's going to start pulling back into the machine, even when you don't want it to. But I, su I suspect, well I'll turn the machine on now, see what happens. It does start to contract even with no resistance but I think if it's absolutely it smells is cleaner and it's not a bad smell it's a new vacuum smell but it's very very strong yeah but when the machine's off loads of loads of hose absolutely tons and tons of hose let's see if it works this little lever here wait for it to ramp up Well, yes, it certainly pulls back the stretch hose into the fixed hose pretty fast when you activate the zoom function. Okay, well, to end this video, I'm not going to do a full demo with this, but I must, must see if this will reach up the stairs because to me, that's the main benefit of having this type of hose. The fact that you can leave the cleaner at the bottom of the stairs, do your cleaning and think, oh, heck, there's not enough hose and then you can release the hose obviously and uh, hopefully clean the rest of the stairs okie dokie well here we have the Hoover sensory at the bottom of the stairs I'm just going to do a quick speed it up segment and see if I can clean the whole staircase with the sensory safely at the bottom of the stairs Well, as you could see from that demonstration, the sensory did in fact reach right to the top of the stairs. It cleaned my whole half landing. Most of my other vacuum cleaners can't reach anywhere near there. And I was even able to stretch around a bit and clean some of the landing as well. Just noticed 
little bit of nice Hoover branding. There we go, just in the middle there. Nice little touch. It's a good idea, it's a bit clunky. And obviously if this rotated the way it should, it, oh, it does actually rotate. Oh, it does actually rotate in the machine. Obviously it doesn't rotate handle end, but the whole, this whole thing should rotate as well, but it's that, that stiff. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have trouble taking that out, I think. Anyway, nearly forgot. I haven't done the old suction test. This is going to go to over 80. It might even peak at 100 or more. Thing is, this has got the suction um, release valve in it. I noticed at the start of the video when I blocked the end off the cleaner, I could hear it kicking in. So it, it might peak um, at a higher number and then when the gauge opens to allow air through, it's gonna reduce suction at this end. So we might not get a totally accurate measurement. I'll do it with the hose collapsed, not collapsed, yes. It's not extended, it's collapsed. And, and I think I'm going to because this plaster, folks, is filled up with blood and that's not normal for me. If I put a plaster on a tiny cut, it doesn't continue leaking blood. So I'm a little bit concerned about that. This could be my last video, folks. <sighs> right. Yes. Well, if I die during the video, you won't see it because I won't be here to uh, edit and upload. But anyway, somebody might find it. Right, let's, uh, yeah, I'm a little bit worried, to be honest. I'm making a joke of it, but I'm a bit concerned. Right, let's get this video finished. Well, it was a bit hard to judge, but I think that peaked at around 108, which is uh, pretty good. But of course, this is a 2,300 watt vacuum cleaner, so you'd expect it to have a fair bit of suction power. It still doesn't beat, I think it was the Thomas cleaner so far that beat that. I can't remember what, I think it went to about 140, that Thomas, which um, isn't anywhere near the wattage of this Hoover sensory but anyway that's about it for today's video yes hello could i have an ambulance please yes it's ibasic towers it stands for it beats as it sweeps as it cleans yeah ibasic towers cock fosters england please hurry Well, folks, it's been nice knowing you, but all good things must come to an end. I didn't manage to get to the 100 thou. I tried. Oh, Lord knows I tried. <gasps> but I didn't get to it. Oh, hang on, I think it stopped. Oh, oh hang on. Yes, hello. Yes, can cancel that. I think I'll, I think I'll be okay. Yes, I will. I will live to clean another day. Thank, thank you. Sorry for your bother. Bye. Well, folks, just in case, I am on my last legs, and I've just noticed loads of blood on this. I must have. Oh, that's when I did it. I expect. I was when I was trying to when I was struggling to get this in. I must have knocked the plaster off and bled all over it. Never mind. <laughs> oh dear. Oh. What's it all about, folks, eh? Nobody's watching now. Daisy's fast asleep, and I expect any of you watching now are fast asleep. But anyway, thanks for watching. I've got another vacuum cleaner in a big box waiting in the wings. So a quick change of socks, a quick change of my shirt, and people will think I've recorded them on a completely different day. If you have any comments or questions or any first aid hints and tips, please comment below. And I will certainly, I've learnt my lesson, I've got to get myself a big box full of box cutters and just leave them all around the house. 
wear one round my neck for future unboxing videos. I hope you've enjoyed this. Bit different. <laughs> I'm losing it now, I'm afraid. I'm, I'm going do lally tap. But then again, most of you know that. So until the next video, when hopefully I will have stopped bleeding, I'll see you all very soon and thanks for watching. Bye for now.